This proves the defendant is not guilty. Who is the ale man? You know, I could stand another. Who is the ale man? He could be you. Drink the Boulder Keener tasting brew. Valentine Ale. Hi, Tom. Hey, Pete. How's it going today? How's everything going with you? Uh, things are going pretty good for a change. Uh, How's everything going good? Well... See, I uh, cut down on my drinking, which is good. Well, wait a second. Well, we just were out together. We just went to the junkyard with you. And on the way back to the junkyard, you just cashed in some aluminum cans. And the first place we went after you cashed in the aluminum cans was a 7-Eleven to buy one of those giant beers. Where is uh, that? You have a giant beer with you? I got a giant Let's beer see with Let's me. See uh, Let's okay, see a giant beer. Uh, what you're talking about, yeah, a giant, giant beer. beer. That's the replacement for the 40-ouncer. Yeah. I tried, yeah. I tried to get a Miller of 32-ounce, but they never had it. How's about inviting me along? Well, you wouldn't fit in. I'm joining my mother and her friends on a private yacht. What are you handing me? Your mother on a yacht? Yeah! My mother on a yacht! Uh, what happened to your feet? I dropped a few rocks on it, trying to bust a window out of uh, my mom's car because uh, I got locked out. How'd you get locked out of the car? The police locked me out. The police locked you out of your mother's car. Why'd they do that? A buddy of mine was driving and uh, rear-ended the car. Uh, she went to run the uh, yellow light and decided to stop real quick like, and he rear-ended her. Oh, so why did they arrest him for that? Uh, driving under the influence. So, how long has your mother had the car? Uh, about six years now. And now it's kind of like totaled. It's totaled. It's totaled. Uh, so, how long were you using it when you totaled the car? Like about I a week? said, I never totaled it. So a buddy of mine you, you, did. Your drunken friend did it. My drunken you. friend, Mike, did. Well, that's so it's your fault then. It's your responsibility. Yes, it is. I never let him use the car. My mother never let him use the car. Uh, he just took it. Well, you I, never gave, I never gave him permission to you use it. You were with him, weren't you, when he took it? I was sleeping. I was on my medication. I was sleeping when the accident happened. I don't know how it happened, but according to the witnesses, she went to run the yellow light and it turned red, and she stopped and rear-ended her. That's her fault, then, huh? I would say it's her fault. And that's where you broke both your feet. Both of them, I got And you broke your, both your feet because the police locked the car up when they came, and they left. They wouldn't give you the keys, and but, but you I left your cigarettes a, in the car, I and you tried to break the window with the cigarettes in the car uh, to get your cigarettes out, and when you were trying to break the window, the big rocks that you were using to smash your mother's window to get your cigarettes... I fell on your feet. I picked the cobblestone up, threw it at the back window, and it bounced off the back window like a bullet. It hit me in the left foot. Picked the cobblestone up one more time, threw it at the window again. It shot off like a bullet. That's an unfortunate the, accident. Hit the right foot. Yeah, it's still black and blue all right in here. But there's a pen coming out right here, right here, right here, and right here. And uh, you can see them, they're coming out, and even when I just barely touch them, it is painful. Right here's where the rock hit me one time. I got drunk one night, and uh, the damn cast was so heavy, I decided to cut it off with the electric saw. And I cut, cut your own cast off? Yes, I did. That's I, why the pins are coming out. That's why the pins are coming out. And he loves drinking and driving. That's good stuff. I remember after our picnic on, in June, the next day you were in a mental institution. How come? Well, I don't know. They rolled me down that doggone barrel and I was real sore. And How'd you get to the mental institution? Ambulance, I believe. Yeah, but how'd the ambulance know to come and pick you up? I was sleeping up here on the street on Wabash. Why'd they know you were there? Somebody called and said there was a dead body laying up on Wabash. Wasn't that you who called? Didn't you call on 
the show? Now, this is going to be self-incriminating, eh? Well, where do you think you're going? To get my clothes. Got your discharge? My what? Your release. I'm all right. Let me out. Get back there. Keep Go your on. hands off me. Ever have the DTs? No. You will, brother. It's like the doctor was just telling me. Delirium is a disease of the night. <laughs> Good night. Are any of these problems that we've talked about alcohol-related? Practically all of them. Now, do you ever think that you might want to stop drinking? Well, I have cut down. I've cut down quite a bit. There's good points and there's bad points about drinking. What are the good points? There ain't no good points right as of yet. It, it just cost me money. It cost me self-interest. How many DWIs do you have? Uh, this uh, time, uh, this month, uh, let's see, I got about eight of them. Eight? Eight. And, uh... How many driving without a license, uh, suspended licenses do you have? Fifteen, I think. Fifteen? Yeah. Well, Tom, when you ever think about maybe stopping drinking? And turn to drugs? For one thing, I don't care what anybody says. Sometimes there comes a time when I gotta have it. I gotta have it, you hear me? I gotta have it! I need it bad! I gotta have to stop! <laughs> I'm just that plain and simple, as you can plainly see. That's why I'm plain and simple, as simple as can be. Do you ever think about stopping drinking? Do you think of the hardship it causes you? Uh, yes, I do. Well, why don't you think about it more? I am enrolled in an alcoholic program down in Lexham Brothers, down on, uh, Broadway and Chippewa. They come by every morning in a van and pick me up at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. I stay down there, go through the alcohol program. They bring me back home. We go through the alcohol pro program. What are you doing drinking? It helps my nerves. I quit taking my medication. I quit taking all my medications that the psychiatrist gives me. And I need something to calm my nerves. Tom, I think you're a great guy. I think you're a funny guy. You're an entertaining guy. You're a nice guy. But for Christ's sake, stop drinking! Well, I try. I'm doing really good.